What is up Karatics? Welcome back to the San Andreas Mercenaries update. This video will be customizing our first drip feed vehicle of the DLC which officially released today June 22nd 2023 for all platforms. So that is the Bravado Buffalo EVX. So 2.1 million dollar muscle car. Very very expensive but this thing is also pretty special. Um, so I already went ahead and bought it. Here it is right here. Look at that design. Absolutely gorgeous. My god, this thing is super, super sick. Probably, honestly, just in terms of just like design, probably my favorite car of a DLC. Um, and, and that's kind of saying something. I picked an electric car, but <laughs> so this car again, it, it is a electric muscle car. It's primarily based on the 2024 Dodge Charger Daytona SRT Banshee concept so so a very long name uh but it is you know sort of nicknamed the ev charger that's literally what it is or the dodge charger ev because it's it's the new electric you know fully electric dodge charger um so yeah pretty wild and, and i love how they actually got the uh, stock wheels um, almost identical to the real ones and even the logo there on the fender as well just looks fantastic and something i also love is how they incorporated um, sort of like that fake side vent body line design on the door, kind of like the uh, 69 and 70 Charger. I absolutely love that. The real one doesn't have that, um, and I'm kind of, you know, I'm happy Rockstar kind of incorporated that into uh, the new one here, well, the, the one in, uh, in GTA. That that just looks fantastic. Honestly, I wish Dodge would have done that too. That <laughs> looks really, really good. Uh, now, this thing does offer HSW and Amani tech, so we are going to customize it in the LS car meet. And as you just heard, it actually has a startup sound. So let's go ahead and exit here. So for those of you who don't know, the real um, Dodge, electric Dodge Charger, um, it also has uh, like fake exhaust uh, noises um, that are amplified um, from the real electric motor, something like that. It's some complicated system that Dodge came up with. Um, and Rockstar actually did give it some sounds. So here, you can see it has its own sort of like sound you can hear in the background. So it's sort of like, it's just a louder electric car is basically what Rockstar did, but they also gave it um, a startup sound, which is which is quite unique. So we're driving now to the LS car meet, so we can check out the customization. Yeah, not bad. Got some decent handling and acceleration in stock form. But I'm sure once we customize it and throw HSW, this thing is gonna be nuts. Two point one million. I don't. <laughs> that HSW upgrade is probably going to be really expensive. Mod vehicle. Hey, Let's see what we got here. Oh boy. Hey. One point four. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Two point one. And then add another million. You're at. What is that? Three hundred. Three point five million. Basically. Wow. That's insane. That is insane. All right. Anyways, let's do it there. Ooh, very expensive. Armor, body work, wide arches. What? You got like a subtle wide body to it. That's kind of sick. And then bolted variant. Yeah. Why not? That actually makes it look really sick. However, the wheel fitment doesn't change. That kind of sucks. Yeah, the wheels are still in there. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I think we'll, we'll just put it for now. I might change it later. Um, brakes, bumpers, we got flat splitter, oh yeah, so the stock one has like this uh, cutoff section of a center, this one kind of makes it flat, primary, secondary, carbon, extended with a little reinforcement brackets, this one has winglets, I wish they had one like winglets but without that bracket, oh man, why don't they have it without the bracket? That kind of sucks. I've never been a fan. I, I know, obviously, it's there for a purpose, so a splitter doesn't break off at high speed. <laughs> um, that's, you know, to reinforce it. But it's just, I mean, not all splitters have that if they're attached properly. <laughs> um, I would have loved the carbon wing splitter, but that bracket's kind of annoying me. It, it just throws it off. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments of that. But I, I'm, I'm probably going to go with the carbon flat splitter, uh, really similar to the... Uh, the stock one, even though the, I think the real one is black or, or it might be carbon. I have to look at images again, but do the carbon flat splitter, rear bump. Oh God, no, I mean, fool, like no, you know? 
No. No, no, no. But this one's not too bad, the race diffuser. But why didn't they give us a carbon variant of a stock? That's kind of annoying. I mean, the race isn't terrible. The race isn't too bad. Oh, we'll throw that yeah, on there just to add some carbon. Um, engine, HSW, kind of ironic. It should be electric motor tune or something, but or just maybe a electric motor swap. <laughs> hood, clean hood. Okay. So I mean, the real one does have that bulge like that. Um, but anyways, you can do a clean variant of that. Hood scoop. What do you? you catch the new ride this is an electric car. Fire. What are you scooping in, into there? It's like, <laughs> I don't. Okay, what? It, okay, uh, and then you got the forge carbon variant. What's? I mean, what's? What are you? <laughs> what are you scooping? <laughs> Please let me know. I mean, I guess you could bring in air to cool down the batteries or something, but I don't. <laughs> I, don't I don't know about that one. Uh, I think I'll leave the hood bulge. Um, lights, do some xenons. So the lights on this are interesting. They did the little um, like daytime running light uh, strips, but they split it off in the center, um, and then they added these little um, LED strips in the corners, which are like the main headlights. Very interesting. Um, but we'll do xenon there. Liveries, okay. White stripes. Oh look at that! And the stripes actually go underneath the uh, front, um, sort of like wing i think i think dodge caught it the r wing the nickname they gave that that hole in the, in the uh on the headlight area uh black classic oh that is sick classic stripes like a daytona style stripe i love that classic racing livery ragarum white camo black camo tribe vodka racing sprunk and then hsw Wow, I love the the classic stripe. That's, I mean, it's a bit too big, but that that's pretty sick. We'll do that. They should have added a black variant too. Louvers, I I'm not a fan of louvers on classic cars. Yeah, but on modern cars, I just don't think it looks right. Mirrors, primary stock. It's a little stock. They're secondary. Carbon, very nice. You could do like an old school looking mirror. I don't know why you do that. On a newer muscle car, you know, but uh, okay. And then race mirrors. I guess if you're doing a race spec, all right. Carbon stock. We'll do that. Mode. This is new. This mode. Is exactly race mode. Missed. Race plus mode. With the on the meat. I haven't and seen I that. Maybe it was on the Cyclone no, Two, and I missed it. That's the. I think that's the only other electric HSW car. But okay. Well, um, plates, both. yellow and black. All right, I got the plate for this Hellcat. No, I'm kidding. We can't do. <laughs> we can't. Uh, oh, look at that! I forgot I even made the Daytona plate. That's ironic. That's that's funny. I, I I legitimately forgot I made that. That was for my. I think I made this for my Gauntlet Classic Custom build. Um, that's funny. Okay. Uh, respray. So for this, oh, let's get the camera back to the front here. So for this, I want to do that that metallic red that they did. I just I just love that. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. I think I think a grace red or a cabaret. I think cabaret is a bit too dark. I think a grace red. Or actually, no, this one with a Torino red pearl is probably gonna be the ticket. Oh yeah, that is very close. I like that. Trim color is. Oh, it's a secondary color. So it has this weird accent color in the interior. Oh, and the interior stitching too. That's interesting. Looks almost like a checkered flag or something. Okay. See it there around. All right, we'll do red, I guess. Do some red. Yeah, we'll do regular red there. Trim color is the interior. I think we have enough red already. <laughs> I don't. I think you should choose one or the other, honestly. Um, if you want to do an interior color, I'd probably do your secondary color black, and then you know that if you want a red interior. But I mean, the whole dash is red. That's that's too much red. I think. I think a nice balance is the black with the red trim. Treble for this car goes on the hood. That's surprising. Most newer most newer DLC cars there they're all on the doors. So, I mean, it was mainly the, the older cars that had them on the hood, so that's interesting. 
roll cage okay so you have a roll cage in here I mean this is a I, I don't I don't oh now there's racing seats too okay so I guess if you want to make like a race car build out of it you can do that different racing seats as you can see here um, I'm gonna keep mine stock with no roll cage roof Did you see that? strip the roof also oh, it removes a little um, little bulge long. Not bulge, a little uh, indent or inset is the proper word on the roof. Um, and you can make it smooth, secondary, carbon. I like the carbon, but why is the body line strip still there on the right, right behind it or on the rear glass area? That's kind of annoying. Street, secondary, carbon street. The carbon street's probably what I'm going to go with. Race roof. Why would you have a roof scoop on an electric car? <laughs> Okay, with the antenna, that's kind of cool. I don't think the real one had an antenna. Let me see here. You had an image. Yeah, no antenna on the real one. So, depending on what kind of build you want to do. All right, we'll do the carbon street. Skirts, plastic skirt. Okay, primary, secondary. I like the carbon. Extended. Oh, so it just extends like the little um, corner there, okay. Probably the best, and then an even more extended wing, okay, and then a winglet one, okay, and that's all the options. Alright, I think I'll go with the simple carbon skirt there. Spoiler, ducktail spoiler, thank god Rockstar, <laughs> I'm so glad they put that, that actually looks really sick. You have the cutout, that's ah, a bit too much of a cutout, and the reinforcement bracket kind of gives it some stock car vibes, I, I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Um, or maybe if you want to do a stock car build out of it, you can do that too. Uh, small wing, street wing. What? Classic. <laughs> they did like the old Daytona style spoiler. That's funny. That that looks ridiculous on this car. <laughs> kind of cool though. They, they should have made the livery um, make that spoiler hey, white man. though, kind of like the make real sure one. But then you got all the different giant spoilers and HSW forged carbon variants. Alright, definitely the ducktail for me. Suspension... Yeah, we need to lower this. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we should lower it all the way. I think, I think competition's fine. I think HSW is just a bit too low. Wheels. Um, man, honestly, I, I think this, I mean, these are almost identical to the real ones. They're extremely unique looking. I don't, I don't really see the point in changing them. Now, to note here, for those of you wondering who love to uh, do glitches to paint stock wheels and stuff, on this car, the stock wheel color um, is actually the silver ring that you see on the edge of the wheel. So, that would be the color. Um, the center uh, section, that it's like the black spokes, those do not change. It's only that, that silver ring. Um, so keep that in mind. So let me go here to different wheels here. Um, now if you want to, I, I know they unveiled one, um, one of the Charger EV concepts with a different set of wheels. They look kind of like a drag setup. Um, and if you want to get close to that, if you go to the street category, at least in my opinion, the Cup Champions look pretty close. So, I mean, if you want to do that, you can, you know, put these. If you want that, that sort of like drag look. But I'm going to keep the stocks. I think they just look so good on this car. Really unique. Uh, windows. Yeah, we'll black them out, I think. And that's all the options there. All right, let's take it for a drive. We'll also stop by the uh, agency to check out the Imani Tech upgrade. Because this thing also has Imani Tech. I'm excited to drive this, though. I want to see that brutal acceleration. It's, not, it's probably not going to be like Cyclone too fast. But all right, floor it. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, definitely not Cyclone 2 HSW speed. I mean, it shouldn't be. It's not a supercar, but it moves. Jesus. Yeah, it, it, and the, the brakes are pretty terrible, though, but that's probably because we're going so fast. And the subtle sound is pretty good, too. So it's a little more amplified compared to a normal electric car. Wow. This is really quick. Very quick. Jesus. That is... <laughs> That's very fast. Hello? That moves. That moves. Whoa. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Brakes, brakes, brakes. I break. The, I feel like I'm driving in the snow. I, I, I don't know if it lacks brakes or if it's just because we're going so fast, but I feel like the brakes do lack a bit. It drives nice. I like this. Let's take a few corners. Okay, a lot of understeer. Take this sharp corner here. Yeah, a lot of understeer. Definitely a lot of understeer there. Take another one here. Yeah, a lot of understeer. Especially on the, the steering input. Let's see if we can get another corner here. Hmm. Yeah, this thing's really weird to drive. The I can already tell you the Buffalo STX, you know, the, the normal four-door charger. <laughs> Um, that one, that one has definitely better handling than this. Miles. That, I mean, that thing handles like a sports car. This, this thing does, this thing handles sort of like a, sort of like a, like a, I don't want to say traditional muscle, GTA muscle car, but kind of like that, but with a lot more understeer. Um, very interesting. All right, let's, uh, let's check out the money tech here. All right, so I got it here in the agency and you can see the other buffalo over here very cool um all right let's go ahead and see what kind of a money tech we got here i remember the first teaser photo we saw from rockstar the, the purple car that one had the armor plating well yep there it is all right it's kind of cool they incorporated it into like the body line there the fake side vent looking thing doesn't look too bad um what else we got remote yeah same same old stuff your missile lock jammer i'm definitely gonna do that and that's appears oh proximity mines if you want to do oil slick and that appears to be it okay not bad all right let's take it for another little drive um check out the headlights and stuff first person view it's just sound from the interior really weird this thing is really strange to drive. it's fast oh my god that is very, very fast. Holy... <laughs> I don't know on old gen though, I don't think it's gonna be that quick without the HSW. It's probably gonna be a bit sluggish. Um, but as always, Bruffy, you know, he always tests that stuff, so we'll see how they compare, but... In HSW form, this this thing is a beast. Alright, let's uh, let's pull over here, open all the doors and stuff. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know if anything opens on this car, so... We're gonna find out here. Let's see, doors. Uh, oh, trunk, hood. Oh, look at that. All right. All. Look at that. Everything opens up. There's the front trunk. Look at that. See? No, no fake engine in here. That's good. <laughs> that is awesome. Some good. The texture is not the best, but the effort is there. Looks good. There's the interior. Pretty good there. And the trunk's like a hatch. So the real one does open like this as well. Um, well, not bad, Rockstar. Not bad at all. I am... I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I don't see anything majorly broken with this. It has good customization. Um, you know, some unique stuff, like a, a startup sound on an electric car, which is cool. That thing? I mean, that, that's pretty sick. Um, I don't want to say it's worth it, but I mean, you're buying an electric concept car. You know, it's it's that has a money tech and HSW, so it's kind of hard to put a price on this. But I mean, with how expensive everything is in game, I'm kind of leaning to say it's worth it. Which which I don't think I thought I would ever say for an electric muscle car or any muscle car in the game for that matter. Um, but I sort of kind of think it's worth it, honestly. Um, maybe without the H, I mean, the HSW is just ridiculously overpriced, but. It's, it's, it's kind of sort of worth it. Maybe, maybe not with the HSW, because, I mean, that's an extra 1.4 million, plus the actual cost of the HSW upgrades. I think, I mean, you're, you're what? You're definitely over 4 mil into this car. That's, that's, that's ridiculous, but it is a concept car, so. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.